A number of years ago, a friend of mine who is a successful attorney was on a cleansing and weight loss diet, which had even included short periods of fasting. One of the things he had allowed himself was to consume large amounts of diet soda. After all, they're low in calories, right? Well, one Saturday, we were all outdoors participating in a charity work project. We were having a great time with a number of other friends. It was a warm day, so my buddy had consumed several diet drinks. All of a sudden, he went into a full-blown grand mal seizure and became unresponsive. It was really a scary and ugly scene. Someone called an ambulance and he was transported to the hospital for emergency care and observation. He had never experienced anything like this seizure before. After a painstaking examination and history were conducted, he was told that the culprit was the artificial sweetener aspartame. Aspartame is a sugar substitute that was developed in the 1960s and is known by a number of different product names such as NutraSweet and Equal, depending on the manufacturer. It's a low calorie and is over 200 times sweeter than the regular table sugar that it replaces. Its major components are the amino acids phenylalanine and aspartic acid, and in addition, a weakly bonded methanol. Manufacturers and marketers of aspartame products claim benefits such as it tastes like sugar, but doesn't cause a spike in the blood sugar levels or promote tooth decay. They state that it enhances flavors yet has fewer calories than table sugar. The methanol component is a non-drinking type of alcohol that is commonly used for industrial purposes like paint thinner, as well as automotive applications such as fuel additives and even windshield wiper fluid. Methanol is extremely toxic, e even poisonous. The body converts it into formaldehyde which causes damage to the DNA and body tissues. Consumption of comparatively small amounts has been associated with over 90 adverse symptoms as diverse as vision problems including blindness, breathing difficulties, headaches, fatigue, dizziness, convulsions and seizures, vomiting, liver and pancreas damage, and even death. In the one and a half hour documentary Sweet Misery, a young woman who had been consuming diet soda developed an array of symptoms that landed her in a wheelchair with a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. After learning of the link of aspartame with some of the symptoms, she ceased drinking the sodas and her symptoms disappeared. Aspartame is an ingredient in over 6,000 different products and is used to sweeten everything from chewing gum to yogurt to soda. It has become increasingly difficult to avoid. Now you may ask, how does this chemical become so widely prevalent in our food staples today? In the 1990s, popular news correspondent Mike Wallace reported on the TV documentary show 60 Minutes that the approval of aspartame was the most contested in FDA history. It was felt that the process was sloppy, ignored warning signs, and was politically influenced, bordering on fraud. So if you need to feed your sweet tooth, read the labels, and look for natural products like stevia.